Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. This is Carla from More Talk JA. And if it is 2014 and you are watching this, thank you because what it means is that you stuck with me through 2013 when I was barely here because I was doing my masters. I submit something and I almost get the paper and I'm like, and now, so I'm ready for come back. So this is the first vlog of 2014 and this is the New Year's resolution. And we're not even gonna call it a resolution, just the, the New Year's Liberty Edition, right? We're not going to really do a wrap up for 2013 because everybody know what happened in 2013. The things we're talking in 2013 and we're done with 2013. We're moving into 2014 now. So for this edition, I'm going to give you five, I feel some more going to come to me while I'm going to talk, but five things that I want us to do as a massive, as the more talk massive moving into 2014. Before I do it though, I want to thank Style Observer for naming me one of the definitive people to watch. Is it a big bright light that I still have good camera? I'm still not have good video equipment. But work with me, we'll get in there. Naming me one of the definitive people to watch of 2014. And big up to the Utah. You said, Dottie Berry, a long time you're in it and a long time you need to get the proper bust them. I'm glad you finally get it. Oh, by the way, that's my nose ring. It's not a bogo. It confuses people all the time. Anyway, read them up. So, what we're going to do for 2014? One stop blaming everything on bad mind because if it was that there was a universal dopey that could have hurt the whole of jamaica it would be bad mind because every single striking solitary thing that happened we blame it on bad mind guess what he's not bad mind maybe you didn't get the work because you never fit the work maybe the girl stopped talking to you because she don't like you it's not bad man she bad man because of your shoes are your man she just legitimately does not like you and if we continue blaming everything on bad mind then we never actually have to grow and be better people because anything people don't like about us we attribute it to something that is wrong with them jamaicans i love you and you know that but not everything is bad man please could we grow a little more introspective as a nation in 2014 and look pan with self instead of always thinking somebody is trying to give with foot or hobby away number two stop being so bad man because some of them are actually legitimately bad man some are bad man look here Bad mind, grudgeful, envy, bad mind, and grudgeful, and a eh, all of them some bad, out of the road, dotily, listen, it's not going to get you anywhere. This thing where we bring down one another, this crabbing about your mentality where we have, where the second that somebody starts to do good, we automatically start to dislike them, or the sec we find so many ways to nitpick at each other, it's counterproductive. The only way that the human race can progress, I have the whole of which I show about and go together. So can we actually make bad man a thing of the past by no longer being bad man? 13. Know when to let go. No. Plenty of people are going to have issues with this. We kind of say, what do you mean when you let go? You know, you have to fight. Do, 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 do. Yo, me come from a warrior tribe. Me is a fighter like no other. Me fight for things what I shouldn't even fight for. If me see dog a fight on the side of the road, me are jumping on the side of the mongrel. That is how much I fight. But we all need to learn our limits and know when it is that we need to let go so for 2014 look around you look at the things around you look at the people around you look at the situations that are around you and really assess them are they feeding you are they helping you to grow are they giving you something to do other than to fight and if they are not then perhaps you need to release them because a lot of us are tired a lot of us are drained a lot of us are dragged down at the end of the day we don't really feel like we do nothing but we're not actually sure why we are so fatigued you're fatigued because you're so surrounded by things that are not feeding you you're surrounded by things that you are helping to grow but are not helping you to grow you're surrounded by things that you're investing in but are not yielding returns no sometimes i think is a long-term investment you need to invest in it for a while before you decide, or before you recognize, or you get anything back. But some things you just need to learn for cut. So some things you need to look at it and say, is that a win-win or cut? We're not going forward. Some things you need to look at it and say, I've been putting a lot into you for a long time and I'm getting on. Cut. Some of the old bag them shoes, clothes. Some of the old book them where you have around you cut because there is no space for new things in your life if you keep on holding on to old things that are no longer moving you forward. So for 2014, learn when to let go. Allow your space to or yourself the space to be something else in this life but the person that fights. A lot of us, our identity is bound up in being the long suffering one. Stop suffer. God, Buddha, Allah, whoever it is that you worship, never send an air for live a life of suffering. You know what I'm saying? do something else practice forgiveness number four practice forgiveness and this come back to the bad man thing because all if we are walk up and down and we care feelings for people and never talk to the girl and just want to cry so i can't stand that all of these type of things you seen the girl here 
You think she care? You think all of the time are you a merman and you up yourself like bubble gum this girl really sit on her yard a free you? No, she the power to do anything what she wants to do. I used to do you so over there so you know I have no type of talking with because this step on your tour so him don't care. It's not about their life, it's about your life does having them up feel good sometimes yeah sometimes when you're bored and you, you really have nothing to do you just take out a little book of people you have up and just have them up have them up take them off one by one and have them up but at the end of the day what have you actually done the energy that you've just spent having up this person you could have spent it giving yourself a pedicure pedicure having a nice meal you could have spent it investing some time researching something that you wanted to do you could have gone and learned a language and fulfill a degree with the amount of energy that you put into having up people so practice forgiveness for 2014 and most importantly this is the one that we overlook forgive yourself forgive yourself because a lot of times a situation happens and something go wrong and you know the person wrongs us and then we forgive them we don't forgive ourselves for allowing the situation to go on we don't forgive ourselves for putting ourselves in the position where that person could do whatever it is that they did to us we don't forgive ourselves for going to a job day after day that we know was not fulfilling only if you end up get fired from the job when we know we never want to work in at the first place so forgive yourself accept yourself recognize that you are doing the best you can with what you have just like everybody else and that came to number five treat yourself as you treat other people because a lot of times we're very easy to forgive other people we're very understanding of other people but we do not practice the same thing in our own lives it's like we hold ourselves to a higher standard than everybody else and that is good but it is also arrogant in a way it is arrogant to assume that you are not going to make the same mistakes that any other human does the one I would upon the one like a part called life so treat yourself the way that you treat other people and treat other people the way that you would want to be treated you are the only person who have to live with you from the minute you come out of your mama um to the second that they put you into the tomb and nobody wants to spend their own life with somebody who is mean and terrible and horrible and disgusting to them so before you go out into the world and practice of oh, love your brother love this love this love yourself yes so for 2014 what is it that i'm going to be doing looking job and i'm you know and i'm not job again I have no job. Put me here in one loose one right now. Look here. If you have a job that is given away that is in like development, like social justice, like academia, like production and stuff, hire me. But what can you look out for more talk? I'm going to transition from is a yard thing into a show format. So I'm going to try to turn more talk into an actual show and package that and put that out fortnightly or you know whatever time period. For 2014, I'm trying to do consistency. For 2014, and I, I wish that you all would join me, I've made a decision that every day I'm going to do one thing that makes me happy, that I just want to do for myself, and one thing that scares me, or that I've been putting off. And I'm going to be presenting it, because a lot of time, like, when, when I do something, when I'm happy, like, when I'm the size of cake, but when I really pay attention to the fact that when I'm the size of cake, so like, it's gone down, you know, we go to, we never really get the pleasure, we could have get out and I'm the size of cake. So when me and my cake, on the door, talk to me. Come here, sit down, and me and me slowly, and me save every crumb, so come and fight. And what are you doing things that make you happy? Sometimes there are things that legitimately make you happy. Some people surfing the internet make them happy. Some people going on TMZ make them happy. For some people, if you take a walk and make them happy. But you walk and you're on your phone and you do all type of thing and you're ruminating on your mind. And by the time you reach back at the yard, you don't even realize that you went out on the walk. So for 2014, the one thing every day that scares you or that you've been putting off, the one thing every day that makes you happy. And the scary thing is probably going to be something that makes you grow. So the one thing every day that makes you grow and pay attention, be present in your life. Your life is passing you by and you have your headphones in or you're not paying attention or you're too busy worrying about something to recognize that this is your life. And you may get several lifetimes, but this might have been the last one. So it suits you to open up your two them and pay attention. So for 2014, 2014, already right, start the year more talk, yeah, big things. You're calling it 2014 the experience. Because at the end of this year, we want to look back on the year yeah, and say, plenty of things gone. We never go on in a no year before. I have a bag of experiences for me never have before. So if you have rum bar fish fry, if you have round rabbit, if you have something with bounce about, if you have me, anything well gone. Me a dede because I experienced me a look for for 2000 and more tea. More talk massive. Bless you. Thank you for staying with me. Oh! Would I have problems? Yeah, pa tell me, tell me. For the new show me I put together, I'm having a dear Carla segment. Tell me a problem them and I will solve them. I come here for ton Miss Cleo up on the boat. Not Miss Cleo because you have me shared an unfortunate situation. But you know me I said, man problem, pick the problem, stay in one, come out to your clothes. Okay, not the stay in one. Come here, I forgot to ask my mother. Let me forgot to give my mother a segment in the vlog. But, 
I'm coming up with a segment that is about me responding to your problems. So if you have problems, tell me and me I go solve them. And the next thing is look out for some more talk live streams. I'm gonna do some live stream. Because I love talk to no bucking up in a mega matter so it's nice. It nice. I'm gonna talk to no. So yeah, live stream. We're gonna talk all of them type of something there and then yeah, and yeah, consistency. I'm gonna be consistent now. Okay. God bless you. I love you. Some of them say not in my cabinet. Me never really have a cabinet yet, so in I'm a break front. Me don't know. Bye. 2014. I'll see you next week.